Wow! It's such a nice sunny day to be out here walking at the lake. I hope I get to experience some cool wildlife sea animals here like I did at the zoo when I went there along with my family nearly a couple of years ago. Huh? They're sitting down near the water? I wonder what they are up to at the moment? I'll go ask them and see. Oh gosh, I'm really afraid of the water. I have a very good feeling that I might overcome my fear of water unexpectedly. Doesn't it feel great to be out here at the lake enjoying this warm relaxational view on this bright beautiful morning? It sure is Samantha. We get to look out for fishes and other cool stuff that the lake has to offer. And the cool thing about this place is that they added a ton of benches near the sidewalk so we can get a full view at this big gorgeous lake whenever we get bored or something. Yeah. I agree with you on that. I bet if our boyfriends were here, then we really would have been enjoying our time fishing together for some finger-licking fishes that we always need for supper. Don't you agree? Most certainly indeed, Daisy. Hey girls, what are you up to right now? Oh, hey there Hannah. We're just relaxing out here in the lake on this very sunny day. Do you care to join us? Um. I don't want to put my feet in the water like what happened on my 19th birthday when Rebecca poured oil in the lake while I was in the lake. I want to tell the girls that I'm afraid to lay my feet in the water, but I don't want to look very silly. You know what? I'll just try it out for only a little bit. Great. Oh dear. Okay, what the heck was that for? Hannah just dipped her finger into the water and ran off frighteningly. I know right? What is up with Hannah these days? She always likes to splash in the lake. Something seems to be pretty fishy that needs to be resolved. I think we should pay her a visit at her house later today and see what's going on with her. I think that's a good idea. Well, what are we sitting around here for? Let's head over to Hannah's house. But first, we need to dry our feet and put our shoes on at the bench that is next to us. We're with you. Man, I've never seen a person like Hannah try to run off after dipping their hands or toes into the water. Don't you agree with me on that one, babe? Most certainly. I believe that she must be really afraid of water because back then, she used to enjoy her time playing in the water and she wasn't even afraid of it whatsoever. Hopefully she'll reduce her fear of water as long as she practices without getting too carried away. You got that right. But for now, let's just continue fishing for some more fish, because we both caught one before this all happened. Good idea. Ah, this ought to look very good. Hey Hannah, Daisy, Isa and Samantha want to see you for a little discussion. Okay mom, have them come in. Hey girls, what's up? Why do you all look confused? Hannah, what happened at the lake this morning? You ran off after you were gonna feel the lake. Well, it's just that I'm scared. What were you scared of? Water. You're, oh I know what you're gonna say, I'm afraid of water? How can anyone be afraid of water? I was just gonna say that. What makes you think that you're afraid of water the most? I honestly don't know. Was it because of what happened on my 19th birthday while I was at the lake when Rebecca poured oil into the water that is used for a ship? Coincidentally, yes. But what has that made you afraid of water? Well, it was when I started to feel my skin infected. I'm okay with drinking water that is drinkable, but I just don't want to touch or feel any because that might increase my fearfulness much more. Well, we'll try to help you overcome your fear. How so? Well, we're in the process now.
I really hope that this goes well with Hannah, because I have absolutely no idea on what made her extremely afraid of water. You heard what she said Samantha. Oh, right. So how does the water feel Isabella? I'll feel it to see if it's warm. It feels just right. That's great. So, how is this gonna work? Well, this is to make Hannah feel some water to reduce her fear in little steps, so she knows that there's nothing to be afraid of. I hope this goes well for Hannah when she does feel some water. I hope so too. Hey girls, what did you call me for? We've set up a small pool for you to dip your finger or toe in and that you won't be scared very easily unless you try it. Um, okay? I'll give it a try. Oh dear, I can't do it. I can't do it girls. Gee, I'm not sure what Hannah is up to with her fears of water. I don't know either. We're gonna need more help. But who would it be though? Wait, I know just the person to help us help Anna. And who would that be? Follow me and you'll find out. Um, alright then, I guess. It looks like someone's at the door. Could you get it Cameron? Sure thing. I'll get the door. Oh hello girls, glad to see you stop by our place for a nice visit. What brings you here today? Is Rebecca here? We need to talk to her about something. Yes, she is here. She's in her room getting her nails painted. Come on in. Man, this ought to look very good with these nice shiny looking purple nails as it's my favorite color. Um, who is it at the door? Rebecca, it's me, Isa, and Samantha. We need to talk to you about something since it's very urgent. Wait a minute, you're not here to confront me or anything like that are you? No we're not. Something urgent has come up, and we need to talk to you urgently because it has something to do with Hannah. May we come into your room? Sure. Come on in. So girls, what seems to be the problem? You all look kinda sad. Well, it's about Hannah. She said that she's now afraid of water. What? Water? How can anyone be afraid of water? She said it was because you poured oil in the lake when she was feeding the ducks some food on her 19th birthday a few months ago. Wait, what? She's afraid of water because of me? I'm afraid so. Aw oh man. What have I done to get Hannah into this mess? It's not your fault whatsoever Rebecca. Hannah wasn't really afraid of the water up until now, and we tried everything we could to get her to overcome her fearfulness of water, but it turned out to be a complete fail, which is so shameless for all of us. But not to worry. We just came up with a perfect clue that can get Hannah to overcome her fear much easier. I'm not sure about that, because this was my fault for doing all of this to her in the very first place. Don't worry about it Rebecca, we'll try everything we can to get this all sorted out. We can promise that. Just try to at least help us for something good for once so we can get this all sorted out in no time. Can you do that for us? <sighs> All right then, I guess. I'll help you out on this. Now that's the spirit. Let's sit down on the floor so we can discuss our clue. All right, here's the clue. We can assist Hannah by having us touch her finger to see if she can precisely get it to dip into the water without being frightened away, and that if she does get frightened away, we've got her back so we can make sure that she won't run off somewhere again. Hopefully that'll get her to overcome her fear in no time. Are you 100% sure that this is gonna work alright? 
because it's entirely my fault that I've done this to her in the very first place. Don't worry Rebecca, this possibly won't fail at all. Yeah, what Daisy said. I guess so, alright. This is entirely my fault for pouring oil out of the lake and causing Hannah to experience multiple fears of water, and we need to fix this mess ass hat. Okay Hannah, we all bought you here to try to see if you can smoothly dip your finger into the water without being so scared and frightened. Are you sure about that? Because honestly, I don't really like it whenever I try to touch water all by myself. I mean, I used to do this before, but now it has turned out different. Don't worry Hannah. This is to help you reduce your fear of the water, and we will gladly assist you if you try to run off after touching the water. Yeah, so just try to take some nice deep breaths and get this all out of the way. Well, alright then. I guess I'll do it. This better be good though. Great! Oh dear, I can't do it. Hannah you've touched and felt water a million times and there was no problem at all. Well it's for the best now. Look, thanks for trying, but it's not gonna work. I guess you'll just have to just swim or go play in lakes without me. But we don't want to do any of that without you, that's what friends are for. Exactly. Besties never give up, so you're just gonna have to keep trying until you're fully satisfied with touching water. Rebecca has an excellent point Hannah. I'm sorry girls, but it's the way it's gotta be. I gotta go now. Bye girls. <laughs> Gee, there's nothing we can do to help Hannah face her fear. We tried everything we could, but it failed completely. Our fun time won't be the same without her. Girls, we can't give up now. Hannah is our best friend and we can't give up on her, not even if she's completely scared of water. Just think, the more we come up with clues that are perfect, the more likely she'll reduce her fear of water. This is all my fault. Huh. I told you I'm the reason why Hannah is afraid. Now I wish I never paid her back in the first place. If I hadn't poured oil into the lake for Hannah to suffer, this wouldn't have happened. I did it for Hannah, and now it's my job to get her out of this mess. Not yours. You know what? I don't need this anymore. I'm outta here. I'll see you girls whenever you come up with ways to get Hannah to overcome her fear. Wait Rebecca, come back, we can work this all out together. Let her go Issa. We don't even need her anymore. I guess you're right Samantha. We should just work this all out by ourselves without her then. <sighs> For some random reason, I obviously cannot overcome my fear of water because every time I touch the water, things get really ugly. I knew that everyone in the city isn't afraid of the water, but I am indeed one of them who is afraid of water the most. Back in the early years, I had so much fun playing in the water with my family and friends, but as of now, things are really starting to turn out different than I didn't expect to be. There has got to be a perfect way to overcome my fear of water and to make things come back to normal. I got it. I must overcome my fear. If at first you don't succeed, try and try again. Alright, here it goes. I must not give up. Yes, I think I've done it. I'm not afraid of the water anymore. I really like the water now. I can spend all day relaxing out here for as long as I want now that I overcame my fear. Just remember that if at first you don't succeed, Try and try again, and you'll get through your fears of anything in no time. I can't believe this. 
When will Hannah ever overcome her fear of water? I know, right? With Hannah feeling that afraid of being in the water, she won't hang out with us at a pool or at the beach for quite a while. I agree with you on that. Experiencing multiple fears of anything that a person is afraid of can get really hard for them to overcome their fear over time. I wonder what's gonna happen next? Wait, what? Hannah? Did you just jump into the pool? I thought that you were scared of water at first. Oh, I really do like the water now. But why though? I thought you're afraid of water. Yeah, well not anymore. I overcame my fear all by myself. How? It's just that if at first you don't succeed, try and try again. So what I did was dip both of my toes in the water without even trying to run away, and then I didn't feel scared anymore and overcame my fear. And that's why I now like the water once again. Are you girls proud of me for that? Oh my! You did all of that by yourself without any help from us including Rebecca? That's awesome! We're so proud of you for this Hannah! We were hoping you'd overcome your fear. Had you still been afraid of water, we wouldn't be having any fun playing with water at a pool or at the beach without you. And besties never give up for anything. We just keep on trying and trying until we get it right, and everything should work perfectly in no time. Yeah. I agree with what Samantha said. So do you care to join us now, Hannah? Of course I can. Great. Let's play some water splashing together. Wow, can you believe this Sebastian? Look at those lovely girls playing water in our pool all whilst having fun. I know honey. It's very exciting for them to have so much fun after Hannah told us when she came over that she was afraid of water and overcame her fear by herself without any help from them including Isa. Yep. You got that right. As a celebration, why don't we serve a whole pepperoni pizza for the girls to eat since they are having a good time at the pool. It's already in the oven and it should be done in less than 5 minutes. I think that's a good idea. They would definitely love for some pizza. Hey sweetheart, I see that you and the girls are having so much fun playing in the water in our pool. Yep, we sure are. Hannah told us that she overcame her fear after being afraid of the water. That's and right. now this is what we're doing. We are playing some water splashing together as a group of four. Wow. That's very nice. I'm so proud of you girls for that, especially Hannah for doing her job of overcoming your own fear with water. Just remember, if at first you don't succeed, try and try again. That's exactly right. But anyways, we just want to remind you girls that the pizza is in the oven for you all to have, and it should be ready in less than 5 minutes. Okay dad, thanks so much. You're more than welcome sweetheart. Have fun enjoying your time in the pool. Thanks mom and dad. I see Hannah talking with the girls on one side of the road. I wonder what they're up to? Hey girls, what are you up to? Hey there Rebecca, I'm glad you asked us that, because we have some good news to tell you. And what's that? Tell her Hannah. I'm no longer afraid of being in the water since I finally overcame my fear. Oh really? Yes, really. All I did was dip both of my toes into the water without running off while taking deep breaths, and it finally worked and I overcame my fear of the water. If at first you don't succeed, try and try again and everything will be resolved in no time. Wow! That's nice of you to do that. I knew you would overcome your fear of the water. At first I thought you were afraid of it, but I guess we were the wrong ones. By the way, I'm really sorry that I got you into this mess. I should have never done that to you in the first place to be dragged into this situation. It's fine Rebecca, don't worry about it. 
I'm just very happy that I'm not afraid of the water anymore. Let's hope that it doesn't happen to me again. That's, That's right. right. Say, how about we go to Ice Bats Ice Cream Parlor for some tasty ice cream as a reward for helping Hannah overcome her fear of water. How does that sound? I think that's a great idea. We need some ice cream anyways after a long, hard and difficult day. I agree with you, Isa. Me too. And me three. Well, what are we standing around here for? Let's head over to Ice Bats Ice Cream Parlor for some delicious ice cream. All, All right. right. Man, this ice cream tastes so delicious. The people at this parlor did a terrific job at making ice creams perfectly. I couldn't agree more. We've been sweating all day trying to do our thing, and now we're definitely cooling off with some good looking ice cream. Yet, having ice cream is much easier than just sitting around outside and getting extremely hot by the sun. Thankfully that didn't happen to the five of us. I agree with you, Rebecca. I wonder if they're ever gonna make some cool slushies at this parlor? That'd be much tastier than having ice cream like we're having now. I just thought of the same thing. Well, technically, I don't think they're gonna make slushies because this parlor mainly focuses on ice creams ever since it was opened two years ago. But I doubt that they will make some because we want to try out the Arctic slushie that we've always wanted to get one for a very long time. That's right. Now enough of the talking, let's just keep eating our ice cream so we can head home after a long day of doing something that seems to be very hard. Okay. okay.